It's the early days of flight on Mars, a feat once thought impossible. Now, after more than 10 times its planned number of flights, Ingenuity has demonstrated unprecedented precision flying and broken its previous altitude record on this episode of Mars Guy. Perseverance and Ingenuity spent months exploring the top of river sediments deposited in ancient Lake Jezero, but recently they entered terrain known as the Margin Carbonate Unit that likely predates the river deposits, see previous episode. While parked roughly 375 meters south of Ingenuity, Perseverance used the 110 millimeter zoom lens on MassCam Z to image the distant rim of Jezero Crater and take video of Ingenuity's 59th flight of its planned five flight mission. Here's Mars Guy for scale. Those 1.2 meter long rotors are spinning at 2,500 RPM or more, so Mars Guy needs to stand back. This was Ingenuity's fourth so-called pop-up flight, which usually are low altitude and short, intended to test helicopter systems. This one may be testing systems, but it was neither low nor short. It looks like this was an effort to test vertical navigation by hovering at five different altitudes. Note that what looks like tracking by the camera is my manipulation of the much larger static view from MassCam Z. The video quality has been significantly improved thanks to the work of Simeon Schmaus. He scaled up the images by 200% and interpolated the three frames per second to real-time 30 frames per second, which really smooths it out. This is the climb to level number four. The rocky ridge in the background is on the mountainous rim of Jezero Crater, nearly five kilometers beyond Ingenuity. Ingenuity topped out on the fifth level, 20 meters above the ground. That's a new record, two meters higher than the previous one set on Flight 50, five months prior. I'll mark each level with a static Ingenuity. Watch how closely it manages to hover at each level on the way down. During each hover, I'll show a color image from Ingenuity at about these same levels, but actually taken on the way up. The precision maneuvering is all the more impressive knowing that altitude is measured with a commercial off-the-shelf altimeter from Garmin, the LiDAR Light V3 model if you want to look it up. It'll run you about 130 US dollars. And remember that Ingenuity is totally flying itself. There's no joystick operation from a pilot back on Earth because of the minutes-long delay in radio signals between the two planets. The next view from Ingenuity's color camera shows the sand ripple that it landed on, including two footprints from where it took off. Check out the shadow during the final descent and watch how gently Ingenuity lands maybe a bit exaggerated by the 30 frames per second interpolation. It came within about a meter of where it took off from 143 seconds before. Not bad for a self-flying helicopter on another planet. Here's a dramatic view during takeoff that Simeon made using a technique that exaggerates the difference in this image and the ones before takeoff. As shown by the science team on previous flights, Dust lifting does happen, but it's really subtle. And Simon used a similar approach to show this in the video, which included some serious noise reduction processing using an AI-based video enhancement program called Topaz D-Noise. Watch closely at the ridgeline for a swirling dust devil that shows up with this processing. It's rare to see one against the sky because the dust is about the same brightness. Here it's apparently a bit darker, but then brighter against the ground. But wait, there's more. Another one, or maybe two dust devils, come into view. It's not clear to me whether the same dust devil is creating these features, which, remember, are showing up as highly exaggerated differences between images. So it turns out that the Ingenuity Airshow is a dazzling aerial display of both machine and nature.